Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video, Boost Flow, Flow Commands, I'm going to show you how you can add different commands to use Boost Flow entries. When you use Boost Flow, as you're writing or dictating, Boost Flow will show you the speech results that it's processed. This gives you the chance to accept or skip these results. You can use steno equals less than followed by a number to use that many speech results. Or you can use steno equals greater than a number to skip that many speech results. And so for example, you can use dz equals less than one to use one word from the speech results. You could change that number to three, five, seven, ten, or anything else that you'd like to use that many results instead. You could use SK equals greater than one to skip one word from the speech results. And again, you can use any number that you'd like. Additionally, you can have as many of these boost flow commands as you need in order to effectively work within your workflow. So you can have a whole series of skip commands or accept commands that accept or skip a certain specific number of words and you can use those at your discretion. If you wanted to, you could have a stroke to accept or skip one, two, three, four, five, all the way through 10 or 15 words. It may take some experimentation for you to find out what works for you. You can experiment with different steno and different numbers of words accepted or skipped from the speech engine and use those changes to find your sweet spot. Boost flow commands are entered within your user settings, and so they are user specific. If you want to use boost flow in more than one user, don't forget that you'll need to set it up in each of those users. I'm going to go to my user settings, to the translate tab, and I'll click boost. I have boost and boost flow turned on, and I'm going to click flow commands. And in this window, I'm going to type in my boost flow commands. So I'll type in my steno first, followed by an equal sign. And to accept text, I'll type a less than. And I can follow that with a number. I can use one or any other number that I'd like. For this example, I'll just use one. However, you can also accept or skip all of what the speech engine is suggesting to you. For that, I'm going to type asterisk dz equals, and then I'll simply leave a less than sign. That means that when I hit asterisk dz, boost flow will accept all of the pending text. Now I'm going to add a couple of skip commands. I'll use sk equals greater than to skip one word from the results and reject it. And I'm going to use sk asterisk equals greater than to skip all of the words that boost flow has suggested. That means that it won't use any of the words. But don't forget that you can add as many of these entries as you need to. I could add another stroke to skip five words and add another stroke to accept five words. And again, you can use any steno that you'd like to. If you're not sure how the steno should be formatted, just click the Add button and select the steno that you'd like to use to accept or reject strokes. Press OK and OK, and then specify to Eclipse whether you'd like it to accept or skip entries and how many. Using these commands, you can control exactly which results you get from Boost Flow. These are the base level commands that you can use with Boost Flow to simply accept or reject some of the text that you see on your screen. However, there are more, more specialized commands that we will cover in additional videos in the future. Don't forget that Advantage Software offers anytime support. Tech support is available with any question, anytime, including weekends and holidays at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.